There's one render setting in Unreal Engine that almost all tutorials and Unreal gurus tell you to turn off, but doing so could actually destroy your image quality. Here is a before and after. Let's talk about the misunderstood AA setting that might actually save your shots. Let's see how this option could save your renders from flickering highlights. Here we are in Unreal Engine 5. As always, a bit of a context first. This is a short film I was working on recently, which is uh, currently live on YouTube now, so you can go ahead and watch it if you'd like. It's called Need for Speed Underground 2 UE5 Reworks, and in this short film, I have a lot of uh, camera angles pointing down towards the tarmac. And since the materials I'm using combined with the lighting setup I'm using, I get a lot of highlights in the reflections, which causes flickering in the final output. So if we jump into the movie render queue, set up our normal render settings. And for the anti-aliasing, I'm going to select the settings that pretty much 99% of all tutorials recommend you to use. A low spatial sample count and a high temporal sample count. Overriding the anti-aliasing and setting it to none. So let's just hit accept and then render this. If we have a look at this, this is the output. And uh, I mean, it looks good, but there's a lot of flickering going on, especially in the highlights. So I've seen some tutorials and guides that tell you just increase the temporal sample count. This will get rid of the noise. So let's do that, hit accept and then render. And it does look a bit better, but it's still quite present. And we could increase the uh, temporal sampling like even further, but then we also increase the render time by quite a lot. And this is where TSR comes in to play. TSR stands for Temporal Super Resolution. TSR is really good at handling flickering in bright, high contrast edges, glossy surfaces, hair and foliage, and subtle VFX like bloom or lens flares. So we can turn this all the way back to like four, just to have slightly smoother uh, motion blur. Instead of setting it to none, let's set it to TSR instead and then render. In the end, I would say run a side-by-side -side test with and without TSR. See what actually works best for your project, your lighting and your render needs. Because Unreal Engine is powerful, but it's not one size fits all. And sometimes the standard settings aren't the right ones. So don't be afraid to question the tutorials. Because in the end, the best looking render is the one that looks right on the screen, not the one that follows the playbook. If you've ever searched for the solution for those flickering highlights, I hope that this video could help you in some way. And I know that turning on TSR can introduce some other artifacts, but in some cases, like this one, it might actually simply just save you, your render. Let me know if you have any thoughts or feedback down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. If you like this video, then you might perhaps like one of my other videos, like this one.